mood this morning which does not happen often but we've decided that we need to have a proper clear out of our clothes because we have so many like literally bursting out of the drawers and yet we wear the same five outfits every day literally like we just have too much and like but also the problem is we have so much but i also feel like i want to buy more mm -hmm. well, not so much want i need to buy yeah. more like there's things that we need like we don't have any kind of like black or white like plain long sleeve tops which is obviously really good for this time of year because we have loads of pinafores to wear them underneath mm -hmm. So there's stuff I feel like I need, but I don't feel like I can just mind buying it because we already have so many, so we would like need to clear it out. We, we don't claim to be the most neat people. I know people like really like to have neat drawers. I do, but like I can't be asked yeah, to maintain true. it. Like I, I want to keep them neat, but I'm not like OCD about it. Yeah, we tried <laughs> to do the rolling thing that I think a lot of people do. And it lasted like five seconds because when I was trying to look, I don't know why, it's meant to make it easier to look for stuff. But I was but just, I just yeah. it just didn't work. So We're just not this kind of people. We've messy chic. <laughs> exactly, but here is the pile of things we're getting rid of. It's a big old pile. That's big. I'm actually happy with that. So am I. The, this is a pile of um, <laughs> t-shirts that are being, what's the word? Demoted. Demoted to pajama tops yeah we don't want to get rid of them because they're like fine and they fit but like i don't think i'd wear them out yeah and i know that we have a lot of pj tops that are, we are definitely going to get rid of so i'm like might make as well it work just wear them instead of buying new ones so. exactly and here are here are the drawers the drawers don't get yourself too excited because they don't look great <laughs> here is the dance wear drawer leggings and trackies and shorts love to see it that one's pretty full already this one's really full didn't realize how many of these things we had <laughs> yeah definitely do not need to buy any more pinafores shorts or skirts <laughs> as you can see we have a lot so that's all that's good, good. Oh, gucci and then we actually have a lot of room in here which is good these are like jeans and trousers oh uh, yeah we cleared a lot of room in this which i'm happy about moving over here the bottom of the drawer is just a bit irrelevant oh look how much room's in here oh my god guys this was such a mess we should have done it before yeah, because oh my god, oh my god so the mess should have. that's annoying but here are our t-shirts we oh my god, I wish we did it before. They were just complete mess. Complete mess. Complete. Like, <laughs> not even, it was full, but it was also a mess. And then, who knew we had so many long sleeve tops? Yeah, this is all just long sleeve tops. We have, like, kind of nice ones, like, going out kind of ones at the back here. And then, yeah, long sleeve ones here. But we still have some room for some basics. Because, like I said, we definitely need to buy some mm -hmm. white and black, like, long sleeves. Yeah. So, so yeah. Honestly, really happy with the progress we've made i know it doesn't look great but for us it's great yeah <laughs> oh i so wish we didn't yeah change it, it was like that like the yeah. pile it was just a mess that but in the drawer literally i'm not even exaggerating no. that's what it looked like so we love that be proud okay it's not the neatest but it's something we can show you the before of some other drawers because we still need to do some yeah. we still have like mm -hmm. Quite a few One, to do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So we can show you the before of that if you're interested. I know a lot of people like organisation things. I feel like this isn't the most satisfying because yeah. it doesn't look great, but it's a big improvement. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah, feeling productive, feeling like we can justify buying some clothes. Yeah, <laughs> that's the most exciting thing. Like once we've cleared them all out, we get to buy new clothes. That is what we're doing this for literally good morning and welcome to day two of clearing out our clothes Ooh, i promise we'll do other things in this vlog but this is just where we're at at the moment we're on 
the grind so we just have to keep going the momentum's here we're just gonna go with it so as promised i'm gonna show you the before oh god the before of our pajama drawer Oh my god, literally just, it's it's all just none of it's like matching as no. well, which, which is, not, is useful just when not useful. You're matching queens and you're looking for things to wear that match. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what we're going to tackle today. Excited! I'm excited to get it all sorted and then we can put these t-shirts that we demoted in get rid of a lot I think because I don't yeah. think half of this fits us anymore and some of it is just like I don't know just not really a vibe I really no. want to get some new pajamas because yeah, yeah a lot of these ours. we bought a long time ago <laughs> so yeah wish us luck here we go wow oh my god it's still so full we have so many freaking pajamas but to be fair we did just move some from another drawer in the other room to here so now we have a clear drawer yeah true but so i still get how we have so many but then also you have to think this is like double the amount yeah so like <laughs> double the amount an average human would have <laughs> like so it just looks like way more than it probably actually is yeah but it is better organized we've got all our shorts here look how fun these are <laughs> um longer ones here but we definitely need some longer trousers because we don't have yeah, many definitely. Got our cute little sets here, our new ones, which I'm so excited about. And then t-shirts and vests. So we are a bit more organised here, but yeah, we've still got so many. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? But we have also thrown a lot away. Yeah, we've thrown so many away. Like all of these were in here, so... Feeling good. <laughs> open it with you it's honestly the most random shit like it's not like it won't be exciting no when you see it but, but we've got big plans for it yes <laughs> and i don't actually know because we ordered like a load of stuff from amazon but i don't know exactly what's coming mm -hmm. when so i don't know this was actually gonna be in here it's a mystery to us all oh my god oh there's one on there <laughs> okay, so first up we have some red food <laughs> Um It looks like some kind of medicine. I don't yeah, even I know, know why the it's. The packaging is like so 100% natural. Um, what do you call it? Like over the top. Yeah, it's a bit. I don't know. Well, it's 100% natural, guys, so it's all good. We love that. The second thing is kind of hurt my soul honestly <laughs> yeah. we basically have bought a <laughs> another white backdrop like we use in all our photos because we basically have this idea for our final halloween photo and it kind of involves like where's the top oh, this is the top oh yeah it kind of involves like having something behind us and we thought about using paper, but I was like, it's just gonna look naff. Yeah, so we've literally bought a new sheet that we're only going to be able to use once because we're gonna draw all over it with Sharpies. And obviously it will only work for like the specific concept that we have. Yeah, it's not like we're not like drawing something like that we could use <laughs> again. Like, like, no, it's literally just for this one photo. Is that the same, do you think? Yeah. So, so it better be <laughs> as good as we're hoping it's gonna be because it was like 14 pounds and like it doesn't sound like a lot but when you're using it only one time like just that is a lot yeah a whole backdrop just for one photo like that is a lot but hopefully it's gonna be worth it I'm excited <laughs> oh my god what are you doing well it's really hard to 
The red food colouring is also for a spooky Halloween photo that we're going to be taking this week, so stay tuned. Probably show some behind the scenes of that, but yeah, I'm so excited. So excited. Spooky content is coming. We did actually mention that on our most recent Instagram post, and loads of people, bless them, they've been like so excited for your spooky content. So now I feel like there's pressure. Literally, to yeah. make it good. <laughs> so many people were like, I can't wait to see it, and I'm like, oh my god, guys. <laughs> no, I know. So I'm really excited. excited, and yeah, we'll show you. The rest of the week as the stuff comes because I think it probably should all be here. Oh, actually, no, the clothes aren't coming for ages, no. are they? But yeah, a couple of the other Amazon bits are coming this week, so we'll show you. A little sneaky beak. So excited! Oh my god, I promise we're gonna leave this room at some point and do different things. But we back. Happy Wednesday. We just got literally just got these through the door. More props that don't make sense. Until you see the creative <laughs> process, <laughs> but who knows? I don't actually know what this one is, so it's a surprise for all of us. I don't know oh. what this one is. <laughs> Red and black sharpies for drawing all over and destroying our 14 pound sheet. Excited! Ooh, these are cute. <laughs> Ooh. We got some face gems because we are doing a stick them up. Oh, they're just like they're sticky. Oh right. It's like a like you pull something off and then it's sticky. Alright, oh, I see. We're doing a day of the dead inspired look for Halloween, so we got these. Which are cute. I'm scared, like honestly I don't know how the makeup's gonna turn out, but you know, we're just gonna try. Yeah, we... I hope that these gems will just like save us and mm -hmm. if all else fails, like the gems on the face kind of give you an idea of what we're going for. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> we found an inspo photo and she did like a really colourful makeup and obviously we have loads of colourful eyeshadows. So if we can pull it off, I think it'll be really cool. Mm -hmm. But it's just whether I actually have the makeup skills to put it off. Who knows? We'll find out. We shall see. But there we go. Some more things. It's all coming together. together. Excited. Okay, we're downstairs. Jackie's are on. We look like we're ready for a dance class. Basically, we just we want to do dance for like our Instagram because like we love to share what we love and obviously dance is something that we really love. But I feel really lame doing like a TikTok dance. I don't know. It's just yeah, like not with me. I just can't. Like I feel like we had our TikTok phase and now it's done and we don't need to revisit it. You know, basically ages ago actually. When was it? Second of July, Harvey posted a video. A TikTok. I don't know when it was a TikTok, but <laughs> um, a video of him and his dancers like dancing to one of his songs. And it was so cool, the choreography is amazing. So we were like, should we give it a go? And honestly, I just don't know. Like it's these kind of things that it's like, it could be easier than I think. And we just like pick it up really quick or it could be just literally so hard I can't even do. And it's so just <laughs> obviously, cause like for me, if I went to a dance class and I looked like shit doing the choreography, <laughs> like I don't really care cause mm -hmm. I'm, I'm there, I'm trying. But like obviously to post on Instagram, it has to look semi-decent. Yeah. Otherwise people are like, why the fuck are you posting dance videos? So I might just look really awkward doing the moves. Yeah. I just don't know. I just, we don't know. But this is the fit and honestly it's kind of yeah. giving me the, the confidence that I need to this be able to. terrible angle. Yeah. But to do it. Dance how, class vibes. How cool is this jumper? We showed you if you watched our one of our previous vlogs. We got it for our birthday. I love it. But yeah, wish us luck. I'm scared. I'm scared as well, but uh, hopefully it'll be fun even if we don't go as bad. Yeah. <laughs>
birthday. We're enjoying a montage from last night. Oh my god, Shell is literally one of our favorite films. It's ever. so good. Ever. Mm. We were kind of manifesting the king because mm. we are on a Timothy Chalamet hype this week because he's literally had Time magazine shoot and an Entertainment Weekly shoot, which has been all over Instagram. And we're like, <laughs> and <laughs> did we say about the whole him not being on Graham Norton? I, I don't think know we. Oh no! Basically, he was meant to be on the Graham Norton show this Friday. We were so excited. We literally watched him on the Graham Norton show when he was last on in preparation we were like ready and then we went on the website and it said that he wasn't going to be on anymore even well his it, name just wasn't there yeah even though we checked the website previously and his name was there so like it was confirmed and then they literally just took it away from us and my heart literally broke in that moment literally so yeah we were kind of hoping for the king oh, that's actually a spoiler Mary watched these oh, videos yeah. But we got Sherlock instead, and honestly, yeah. I wasn't mad because it's such a good film. <laughs> honestly, that is the only thing that I would have been okay with. <laughs> anyway, on to today, we are about to head out to another place that Mary's found. She finds these places for us to explore, and we're just like, sure, okay. sure. Just gonna go check it out. It's the red and orange makeup, and we tried this hair. Don't know. I feel like we can't. It's kind of fun, kind of fresh, and we're gonna see if we can get any photos because we still have not shown Instagram this jumper in all its glory. So we would really love to be able to do that because we've literally been wearing it so mm -hmm. much, but like it just hasn't got any love, and it deserves. It, it hasn't had its moment, <laughs> but hopefully it's coming. So yeah, bye. -bye. Gap, yeah, I don't really know, but like the views are so pretty. It's like loads of hills, so you can like see how we It's really, really nice. Really nice. And we also just snapped some pics at that. Did you feel? Yeah, I filmed at it. that like hollow yeah. tree trunk thingy in the bottom, which is fun. And we're also honestly getting some ideas for more photos because the leaves just haven't changed yet mm -hmm. but there was like a big long walkway with loads of trees and I feel like when they start going like orange it's gonna be so good oh yeah um yeah so definitely gonna come back for that but yeah like, honestly the leaves are just not changing no like when I just filmed then there was like one tree there that's like a bit oh, yeah there's also just like sheep just like chilling yeah just like you can like go right next to them Oh, it is, it's lovely. It's so like open. I feel like loads of photos we could take here, yeah, but definitely. we've got our set. I'm happy and just exploring. first spooky season photos and I'm so excited! Can't wait! Today's theme actually fits perfectly because you season 3 premieres tonight which is mad! It's like literally crazy! So crazy! Unfortunately we're not actually watching it tonight because we have our schedule. Oh, yeah. And we haven't even finished our rewatch yet and we've basically decided that you is going to replace Riverdale for the next few weeks so we're going to be watching it next Thursday which we are so excited about but we still thought today would be a perfect day to do a you inspired thing. So here we are as Love Quinn in her Viking Viking attire. attire. I believe her hair is a lot shorter than ours so we did it in a little bun but actually she does have it in like a little, I mean she makes it look cool like messy yeah. but, but 
<laughs> and she has made a part too, so it's that. And she's always got her hoops in, but like no hair out, which is weird for us. I literally look like an egg. Yeah. So, honestly, see how that one goes with the bud. <laughs> literally, we're trying to do a kind of. I was thinking about what her makeup looked like last night because we watched an episode and I just got like dark under eyes kind of vibes, but. It's a love inspired look. Yeah. I mean, she she doesn't wear this much makeup. No. <laughs> but, I mean, we're taking a photo. I can't just not wear any makeup. No. Literally. <laughs> the fit. Cute. And we're using the first of our random Amazon things. This food colouring here is going to be used for this photo. Honestly, not sure how it's going to go, like making our concoction but we'll see we will see i'm kind of scared but the fingers crossed pray for us pray for us i'm really excited about these one days same but i'm kind of scared because if it doesn't go right like we were meant to be posting it tonight yeah, because it's obviously it's coming out today so honestly pray for us let you know how it goes well i'm excited this thing of food coloring i mean, actually it doesn't yeah really it red. does look really Maybe red being critical and it looked like so dark pink and it was running out i was like oh my we were God. like no but i do think it looks red here is oh, the inspo photo so we've got that on yes ready to dip in and then the drip bowl when it drips yeah i am scared i'm gonna get it yeah. on that oh wheel. my god if i get it on my jeans i will <laughs> actually cry there will be tears but Hopefully this looks good, honestly, because who knows, literally, until we start taking the photos, but and it's kind of lumpy. I doubt you'll be able to see, but I hope it can. 